It's another hotting moment in the central business district area of Lagos Island as two buildings serving as warehouses go up in flames but no lives lost. The first inferno begins on this building in Martin Street around the popular Oluwole market where properties worth millions of naira have been destroyed. The fire starts around maybe like 25 minutes after it's set. So that is all what I could say about it. There is generator there, mechanical generator, and there is a lot of fuel diesels there. I feel that can boost the fire to, re to release like this. The other building is in Dosumu Street, off Tom Jones Way in Idumoto. Eyewitnesses say the building is home to fashion design materials. It's a warehouse. There are shops downstairs. We have big shop and two shops downstairs. The remaining one is warehouse. But it's weird that they are opening morning and night every day. When buildings like these are on fire, it can be difficult at this point to ascertain the cause of the inferno. Operatives and ground will always like to fight the inferno till the end before they ascertain the cause. They are not yet to. But we are able to curtail the fire from spreading. We are able to localize the fire and we are now putting off the fire. In a short time now, this play, the fire will be off. The only challenges we are having is that uh, the crowd, crowd control, you can see them. And some people will like to, they will like to uh, surface their market. And from there, they are disturbing us a lot. I will see more of this in the, in the Ember Month. We're coming to the end of the year. We're meeting with all the market women, all the market men, all the associations. We're going to be doing a lot of massive sensitization as to how they can protect themselves and also protect the lives um, and, the, and property as well. Lagos Island is historic for inferno, especially at dry seasons, which is yet to begin proper. These simultaneous occurrences may be pointers for business owners to exercise caution on their assets at this time. Temple Ashaju, Channels Television News.